So you're thinking of adopting sugar gliders, but you don't know if you should get a pair of males, a pair of females, or maybe one of each. Can you even get a male neutered? Can you get a female spaded? These are all very good questions, and it's so hard to choose. Because they're all so cute. Look at them. It's hard to decide. You want them all. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Cuteness aside, let's get serious for a second. Now, you plan to adopt, you're going to get a pair. Now, if you plan to get a boy and a girl and you don't want to breed, you need to know that you have to get the male neutered because guess what? Mother Nature takes over and you'll end up with little babies. And lots of complications can happen when you have babies and you're not educated properly. And being educated properly is very important. I suggest that you do a lot of research, that you have them as pets to begin with. See, get the feel of them, learn how to bond. There's so much to learn. To this day, I'm still learning. No one is an expert. They're still very new. We're still learning diets, everything, bonding. So take the time. Have the pets. Enjoy the pet aspect behind them before you go ahead and breed. Okay, so I'm done with the spiel on breeding. I'm sure you've heard enough. Now you want to know the difference between the male and the female. Now I'm going to start by showing you what a male, an unneutered male, sorry, an unneutered male looks like comparing to a female. This is my boy Axel. He's such a sweetie. I love him to bits. Now you see the sand gland on the top of his head? That's one way of being able to tell because males have a sand gland. That's how they mark their females. They also have a sand gland on their chest. If I'm able to show you, there it is. And that's another way of being able to tell the difference between a male and a female. They also, an intact males will have palms. There you go. Got to see, I'm sorry there, buddy. And that's, those are the biggest ways to be able to tell. Hey, look at that. He's coming to say hi. Anyways, so with that being said, the females have a pouch, which I'll try and show you next if my girl Roxy will be cooperative. Roxy baby, this is her. See, she does not have a sand gland on her head like the males do. And she has a pouch. I don't know if she'll let me show you. She does, she's very shy about it, but that's where they carry their young. Come on, are you going to stretch out? There it is. You got to see it for a little second there. So see, as you can see, there's, that's the difference to be able to tell physically between the male and a female as, when the male is intact. If the male is neutered, he will also not have that sand gland on the top of his head because he's no longer intact and ready to produce. So that's the difference between an intact male and a female. Um, that's physically, but characteristically, there is no difference. It all varies on the glider itself that you get. Um, so I hope that helps you in your search on if you're going to get a male or a female or both or whatever. Please do your research. Get your male neutered if you're going to have a mix. And uh, keep in mind that in the community, through Facebook and everything, we have lots of great forums and groups willing to help and educate you on anything you need to know on gliders. Now, if you, with time, I'm going to have more videos, so keep an eye out, subscribe down below, and also look in my description because I will be adding a little bit more than this video has already given you in information. So thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys soon.